Okay, so that same problem, sample problem 2.5, let's look at this last way of calculating the moment, but we use uh, vector methods, which means we use the cross product, which is R cross F. Now, maybe before we even look at this, let's just get a, a bit clear about what the cross product is. Now, I'm not a math teacher, but this is the, the basic idea, is... Uh, remember, the cross product is a also known as the vector product, which means uh, you multiply two vectors, R cross F, and out comes a vector. Remember the scalar product, which is the also known as the dot product, you would um, multiply two vectors, R dot F, okay, and out would come a scalar, some scalar value, okay? It would have no vector directional information. All right, so the vector product is the cross product. So we will always get out a vector. Now, let's look at this quickly. We've got unit vector i, unit vector j, unit vector k. So these are the unit vectors in the x, y, and z directions. Uh, we always use the right-hand rule. So we'll see now what, what I mean. So i cross k, i cross k gives us, sorry, let, let's, let's start in a more traditional sense, i cross j so what you do is you put your right hand fingers in the direction of I and you curl them towards J. Put them in the direction of I and curl it to, and then stick out your thumb and you can see your thumb points in the K direction. Okay, so I cross J is K. Um, what about J cross K? J, stick your fingers in the direction of J, curl them towards K, and what's the direction of your thumb? It should be in the I direction. K cross I should be J. Now, what happens if you go I cross K? Stick your fingers in the direction of I, curl them towards K, and you'll see you're going to get minus J. Similarly, if you go J cross I, J cross I will give you minus K. And what is the last one? I, J, and then K. Anyways, there's, there's many different ones, right? K cross J gives you minus I. All right, so just use your right-hand rule and point your fingers in the direction of the first one and curl it towards the second one and you will get the resultant vector. Now why do I say that? Because that's what we need to do here. So the moment of a vector in, in using the cross product is R cross F. Now we need to first always convert our information into vector form in terms of I's and J's. Okay, so remember, remember that the moment is R cross F, not F cross R, remember that. So what is my position vector? It is my position vector from O to any point along the line of action of the force. And to me, the easiest one to find is point A. So that's going to be four units. 4 meters, rather, in the y direction and 2 meters in the x direction. So this is going to be 2i plus 4j. Cross. Now, what? how do I convert this force into vector form? Well, I get its x component and its y component. Its x component is that, which is 460. I'm just going to write this over here. 460i plus minus actually it's going to be minus 
386 J Newton. Okay? So that's in meters, and that's in Newton. And now, that's where this comes from. Okay? That's where that comes from. So I've got my position vector and I've got my force, both of them in terms of I's and J's. Now, I'm going to do a few examples of this, and then you can do the rest. So all you do, it's, it's exactly like multiplication that we used to. Let's take 2i, so I'm going to say that times that term, plus that times that term, plus that times that term, plus that times that term, okay? Is that called FOIL? I was in high school so long ago. Okay, so 2i cross, um, what was that number? Let me, sorry about that, let me just get it. 460 and 386. Cross 460i. Okay, so I'm just looking at this first one. Now, I forgot to mention, any, any vector cross product with itself is zero. Okay? Because we've got the sign of the angle between them. Alright? So, uh, I forgot to mention here, but I cross... Um, J, if you look at the magnitude of that, it's equal to um, 1 times 1, which is the magnitude of each of those vectors, times the sine of the angle. Okay? 90. But if you've got I cross I, magnitude is 1 times 1 times sine of 0. Sine of 0, which is 0. So any two vectors that are in the same direction, that are our uh, vector multiplied give us a zero. So I cross I gives us, this will just be zero. So that first one is zero. Then what about the second one? 2I cross by minus 386J. What is that? Well, multiply the scalar uh, components. So 2 times 386, whatever that is. Guys, I'm giving you the principles. I'm not going to actually calculate it. So 2 times 386, put that number in there. And then what is I cross J? I cross J is going to be K. But then there's also a minus there. So it's minus whatever that value is. Th minus 386 times 2. That's that value there. And I cross J gives us K. Okay? Then what about J cross J? J cross J will give us a zero. And then we've got... Um, sorry, J cross I. J cross I. If that's J, then that's I. So J, point your fingers in the direction of J and curl it towards I, and your thumb will be pointing down in the minus K direction. So J cross I will give you minus K, and J cross J will give you zero. And so you, you, you carry out these multiplications, and you get... By the way, uh, because everything is in the X and Y direction, the X and Y uh, plane, all the moments will point in the positive or negative k direction, z direction, which makes sense, right? So if you carry this out, you get minus 2610k newton meter, okay, which means, which just means that it's pointing in the negative direction. The magnitude still is 2610, but now it's giving you uh, vector information or directional information. Okay, guys? I hope that's clear.